Hello, everybody, and we are back with Jurassic Park Dinosaur Battles. Now, mm, of course, right as we get into the fucking game. Uh, no, because, uh, I'd rather not get my shit rocked. Um, we are finally past the most annoying part of the game. And that that's just, like, this is useless. Um, okay. We're past the most annoying part of the game, where we have to fight the trike and the ankylosaurus. Um, so now, all we gotta do, we gotta get Sabrina. I think, uh, yeah, I believe we're right here. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Ah, and I forget to stop getting these ambushes. Oh, I just get tired thinking about all these ambushes. <sighs> Pretty sure there's nothing up here, but again, shit fades in. Actually, I, I kind of wanted to rock that guy's shit. I'm gonna shit that guy's rock. There might be something up here, and there might not. No. Nope, okay. Fuck off with your ambush. You know what? We're gonna rock your shit. I don't even need to, because you're not even gonna touch me. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna let him do this. Yeah, that, that's all that he's got. Okay, that hurt. I didn't know that the raptors could touch you if they bit you. Huh? I am actually shocked that he did anything to me. It's typically... I that, yeah, I, I've never been taken down with the Ankylosaurus before. So that's, uh, that's new. That actually did damage me. I did not, I, I didn't like that. So you know what? You know what, buddy? Fuck you. I think it was time, though. Run away! Stun and bash. I forgot we got a uh, got some abilities here. I already upgraded the stun and bash. Holy shit! Okay. Um, strength. We want some strength right off the bat, and I need. I can do that. And. Yeah, let's do, uh, no, yeah, I can do that. All right, b -b 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 brain. You know, let's actually see if we can fit some loyalty in here. I want to see, because I, I don't really focus on the loyalty part that much, but I don't know, maybe I am missing something in there. Loyalty up to 14, okay. Um, aim, I want to have astronomically precise aim. And energy, that's the other one. Okay, that works. And then let's see if we can get some more strength in there. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's something good. That doesn't even fit in there. There we go. Stun and bash. And then let's go back. I don't think I'm gonna... It's not, it's not by its pure forces. I don't think I'm gonna need that on the trike ever again. Okay. God, I keep having the, the need to yawn. Oh. I'm not even that tired. That's the weird part. Charger. Oh, this damn trike will not leave me alone. What about with somebody else? I'm on a mission. Let's go ahead and give Stun Bash a try. Of course. Nothing. Am 
My tail does does more, buddy. You don't you don't want to play this game. I don't want to play this game. <laughs> Fuck off. Same dinosaurs. Just leave me alone. I feel like I know where I'm going, but I really don't. Oh wait, I need to go up here. Yep, that's where I need to be. <laughs> do not care. I don't care. I do not care. Oh, hi, Mark. Freaking dinosaurs, dude. They just do not want to leave you alone. Can I get here with that? Holy hey, shit. You there. No way. Controlling that dinosaur. Stop it once and return all that stolen equipment to InGen. It's not stolen. Exactly. Don't pay any attention to him. You've got an angry Dilophosaurus staring you in the face. <laughs> oh, 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 shiver me timber. Shut up, man. Shut up. Dilophosaurus can't lose? Must have been sick or crippled. Let's see what you're made of against this Ankylosaurus. And I need to try it. No turning back now. I thought it was gonna be a trike that I had to fight. Oh, damn it. I Which ones did I have on here? No, I, I don't want it on bite. Aim. Maybe it was that. Yeah, that's what it was. one she made. She tricked me. I mean, I tricked you with those easy battles. Prepare to meet my Triceratops. Prepare to meet my Triceratops. He sounds like a, a whiny kid. He just, like, didn't get his way at the birthday party. Sex for the win! How can this be? I 
not the strongest, the best. I'm weak. The weak, what good are they? Look, it's Primo. Oh, not this weirdo again. Who are you? Where did you learn to control a dinosaur? Oh, what's the use? I might as well walk you into her secret lab myself. Strange. He doesn't remember talking to us? What's this about a secret lab? What? You can't visit Dr. Court's lab. She's a genius. A genius with a foolproof plan and three great protectors to keep it safe. Three protectors? You mean like those fantasy pictures on the cave walls? They are real, and they will never let you leave this island. Not by air, land, or sea. Dr. Quartz is very clear. All trespassers must be eliminated. We cannot be defeated. What are you talking about? We just kicked your butt. That was defeat if I've ever seen it. True. You did beat Primo. Primo could have been eliminated. The protectors did not protect me. InGen did not protect me. Dr. Gortz betrayed me. She must be evil. Uh, no, a genius. Evil, a genius. An evil genius, yes. Yes, she must be stopped. Okay. Guess we've established that Dr. Gortz is up to no good. You think she's really taken ancient drawings and twisted them into real-life killer dinosaurs? How warped is that? And now we have two guys who look alike, sound alike, and are both completely bananas. Maybe you'll find some answers in his lab. Or at least something to help your dinosaurs. I don't like the sound of those three great protectors, and I am not interested in being eliminated. Pteranodon identified. According to Dr. Court's journal, Primo was supposed to power up that Pteranodon, but never gave it fighting skills. Let's take it anyway. A flying dinosaur could come in handy. All right, and oddly enough, that is the, aside from the Gallimimus and the Dilophosaurus, that is the only other dinosaur in this game that you cannot control, which is interesting because if any of you are as nerdy as I am when it comes to the Jurassic Park movies and you've watched uh, like every single special feature on the third film, you know, you go deep into the bonus feature menu on JP3 and um, you, uh, you watch the scan command commercial. It shows you being able to control a dilo, but, and, uh, sorry, I'm using te yeah, technical dinosaur terms. Uh, Dilophosaurus, and, like, the whole thing with Scan Command was like, it, it's it's this game, but you scan barcodes from, like, ran like everyday uh, items, and you can plug it into your computer into the game, and it gives you, like, power-ups, and, like, you can unlock more things quicker. And, I, I don't know, I, I thought that was pretty cool, but... I, I just find it interesting that, like, there are certain dinosaurs that you can't control. I mean, like, because you, after the Ankylosaurus, you get the Rex, and then the Spinosaurus. Oh, my God. Um, but I, I think it would be kind of cool-ish to be able to control either Gallimimus or, I mean, Gallimimus not so much, but Dilophosaurus, nevertheless. Um, but I, it was probably just, like, one of those things where it was, like, same thing with a Pteranodon, you know, I mean, like, first off, these are all ground battles, so it wouldn't really matter with a Pteranodon. Um, but, like, I, I feel like it would have been just, like, too much, like, too many dinosaurs to level up, too many skills to use the DNA for and just not enough time because we're basically halfway through the game right now. I wonder if that's one of the great protectors. Yes, the protector by air. Hey, do you think? There's only one thing to do. You've got to control that pteranodon you picked up in Primo's lab. Okay, I found some commands in Court's journal. I'll send them over your dino box. Let's hope that big bird responds. Protector by air? Not exactly what I expected. No, 
but you seem to have lost our Pteranodon. Uh, he just stopped responding. Flew out of range, I guess. Who cares about some overgrown bird anyway? Get across the bridge and find Sabrina. All right. You're back in jungle territory. Watch out for ambushes and keep your eyes peeled for Sabrina. She's got to be around here somewhere. <sighs> <clears throat> All right, we're going on Yankee. Let's go ahead and upgrade Nibbler here. Not too concerned on this one just because it's probably a skill that I'm not really going to use all that much. Um, but who knows? I'm, I want to. I want to save most of my stuff for the uh, the Spinosaurus because that is the uh, aside from the you know the the Rex and everything. The the Spinosaurus is basically the the kingpin considering he's the last one you get hmm. suppose we can throw some loyalty in there <laughs> out it's not really a Oh, it's not as strong as I would like. I mean, again, it's not something that I'm going to use. Eh, let's, let's take that one and put that on this one in here. Eh. Okay. We got what we need in there. And now we get to get more of these little amazing things. I don't remember what dinosaurs is. Oh, <laughs> Alphasaurus! <laughs> he just walked right into that full swing. I had to say that probably went right into his Adam's apple of dinosaurs. Adam's apples? Oh, that's probably not a thing for dinosaurs or animals in general. Regardless, a, a, a strike to the throat like that is death. I don't know. Okay. Tyrannical probably knows what I'm talking about here. Ooh, rest plus dodge plus. Uh, Tronicle, if, if, if he's watching, he probably knows what I'm talking about here. But there was a, a TV show, um, that, uh, I can't remember which show it was. Maybe, maybe it was, God, might, it might have been Dinosaur Revolution, either that or it was Jurassic Fight Club. I'm pretty sure it was Jurassic Fight Club. And, uh... In one of the episodes, they're talking about an ankylosaurus, and um, the tail on that thing, they reconstructed the tail using a bunch of metal bits. Like, it was all metal, like, because I guess the bones for the ankylosaurus were uh, fairly, um, like, just almost indestructible just like their their armor was cuz like it's it's kind of like a what would you say like a like an alligator you know an alligator's back the way alligators and crocodiles have built-in armor on their on their backs and everything how can i oh i need that um and they sw they took the tail and they swung it back on uh, a turkey, like a just a full turkey, and it completely well, yeah, annihilated. Yeah, look at that carving over there. The drawing on it definitely reminds me of that cave. My skin is even starting to crawl. Take it with you and ask Sabrina about it. She's an expert on ancient cultures. Bet she'll have some ideas about it. But yeah, they 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 remade the tail on the ankylosaurus and they swung it back and struck a full frozen turkey with it, and it just annihilated the turkey. 
no surprise. Uh, but just like, I, I can't remember how much the club actually weighed, but getting hit by something like that, for a human, that, that's, a, that's a kill shot. Most dinosaurs, it was a broken leg, or God forbid anything got low enough to the tail. Basically, death or just a really, really, really shattered bone. So, yeah, not not fun. Yeah, we'll visit this, and then we'll go up further. Okay, so we need to. I think the game ends over here, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll uh, we'll go ahead. Take a look, see, because I thought there was. I know I said I was gonna go over to the, the building there, but I thought there was something. No, okay, it must be over this way more. Well, I'll go ahead and take a look at this thing, and all my ankylosaurus walks over the trees. Hey, this ruin is actually a lab. Man, Quartz must be obsessed with that ancient culture. Not only is she making their monsters, she's doing it inside their ruined buildings. There doesn't seem to be a way in at any rate. All right, let's focus on finding Sabrina. God, I'm, I wish it like... I, I wish that the cutscene wouldn't cut out. I don't know what's causing that. Probably the same thing that's causing like some of the wording to get cut out. But I, I I don't know. I just kind of. It's just a little oh, that's what I'm looking for. I, I swore there was something over here, but yep, there it is. Yeah, let's see what we're up against here. Stegosaurus. Yeah, he was like hesitating at first. I mean, I would <laughs> yeah, like, I would much rather have to deal with an angry Stegosaurus or an angry Stegosaurus any day. <laughs> I'm making it through the game as far as I have though. You know, granted, I was very little when I first played it, so like I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I didn't understand any of the mechanics. Got something there. And there's another carving. The drawing on it looks just like the other one. Hey, the pieces fit perfectly together. Whoa! The picture looks a lot like the protector by land, but there's still one fragment missing. Let's hope Sabrina knows what to make of it. Yeah, we got it. I'm, like, I'm not really like tired, but like all this yawning that I've been doing makes me just forget what I was talking about. Oh yeah, uh, much rather deal with an ang like an angry stego than an angry ankylosaurus, just because. Yeah. You know. You 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 you, you don't you know the thing. No, not him again. And what a surprise. He doesn't recognize you. But this time he has Sabrina. You'll have to get past his dinos, too. Yeah, a lot of the cuts have got cut out there. Yeah, so the rapids are really the only thing that can touch me is any Kylo. <laughs> Yeah, 
and back to bed. Stun slam. This can't be. Uh, I knew that raptor wasn't loyal anymore. The first battle is always the easiest. Oh. Oh, he's so lucky against Dr. Court's Ankylosaurus. With these primos, don't any of them understand what it means to lose? <laughs> Apparently not, but I gotta switch over to my trike. 26, we're pulling you out and putting you in the ringer. Let's go. Did I... Oh. Okay, perfect. That's still there. As long as I gotta fight an ankylosaurus, I gotta keep that stuff in there. Of course he does. Why would he? Come on. There we go. There we go. 26 is whooping your ass. And Oh, okay, he dodged. It's it's nice being able to like play this game again though, because like I've I'm using the Triceratops a lot more than I I would have originally. Hey! Dinosaurs don't respond to my commands like that! You stole that Dinobot from Dr. Corpse. Uh, enough is enough! No way you're getting past this Triceratops! Literally the only difference that between this Primo and the last Primo was a Dilophosaurus instead of a Raptor. I don't These guys just can't get it through their heads. They're garbage. They're big garbage. They suck. Ow. Of course I miss and I, I'm, yep. Oh. defeats Primo or Dr. Quartz. This isn't over. Just wait until you're up against our great protectors. By land, by sea. You haven't seen the last of Jen or me. I am the one, the only, Primo! Thank you. Thanks for getting me out of there. Hey, Sabrina. Our dino fighting friends saved us too. Now that you're safe, we can stop InGen from cloning more killer dinosaurs. You're all okay? Oh, fantastic. Gen thing goes way beyond dinosaurs. I found a journal here by someone named Dr. Quartz. InGen has moved on from dinosaurs to people. The Primos! That explains a lot. Yes. Well, Quartz found an ancient civilization on this island and decided to bring them back to life, just like her dinosaurs. She made three clones, um, Primos, all from that ancient DNA. So that's Project Primo. Oh man, this is serious stuff. If she's making dinosaurs into super powerful killers, what do you think she wants to do with human clones? That's the scary part. She talks about how weak and pathetic people are. She wants to make the Primo superhumans just like her super dinosaurs. Superhuman clones loose in the world? That is scary. Those crazy Primos aren't super anything. But I guess they are just her first attempts. That's right, give her time. Look what she has done with the dinosaurs. That reminds me, I heard them talking about a secret lab of giant sundial. The ancient Primos dedicated it to the great protector by land. Naturally, Quartz is using it to clone T-Rexes. Man, if you had a T-Rex, you could be Quartz in her own game. That matches the two fragments we already found. Look, they fit together to form a picture. The protector by land from the cave. Or a T-Rex if you're Dr. Quartz. Now that you have the key, I'll head back to the camp. Go find that lab and get yourself a T-Rex. Finally, we get the Rex. I gotta yawn again. Whew. 
I know I'm going the wrong way, but... Uh. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's getting ready to go into the final stages of the game. Ah, I need to go this way. No, I have no time for you, sir. I'm off to get myself a T-Rex, as the youngster said. Come on, little dog. I was about to say, a little bit closer, we're almost there. We're going back in an ambush. Look, the carvings of the protector by land fit right into the door. The sundial lab is open. Get yourself your own T-Rex. Oh, right. With a T-Rex, you can show that quartz a thing or two. First, you've got to find this Dr. Quartz. Primo said her lab is inside the volcano. Yeah, well, Primo's a nutcase. I, I mean, they're nutcases. Maybe, but that volcano to the southwest looks dormant. I bet Quartz's lab is in there. Primo did run off in that direction. Let's follow him. Yeah, we got the rocks! All right, let's see what else we got, though, because I got a bunch of... No? Body slam. Uh, that was the first one. Okay, bite. I'm not gonna focus on that, honestly. We got a T-Rex to deal with! Alright. That'll work. Now we can get some of the bigger thing. Actually, no, let's uh, uh, Cause I want this to be a bit of a smarter T-Rex than average. Well, let's just go ahead and throw that up there. Actually, no, we'll throw that there. I got that big ball energy. Okay. Definitely gonna need some aim in there. Oh, perfect. All right, let's uh, let's get some more energy going in here, and then I want some. This is a problem when you get into like the later stage stage of the game. You're running out of DNA to put in your dinosaurs. All right, let's see if we can fit one more thing of strength in here somewhere. There we go. All right, now we got the bite. Okay, there's some spots. Okay, get some energy going. Get some big brain. some more strength in. So I don't really have that much in there. Ah, perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and give our Rex a go! Well, we need a name for this one. Oh shit, I forgot
have to do this. I'm really glad that I decided to do this fight because I have to do this. I completely forgot to build up rest for this guy. Okay. Okay, brain. We'll do that. We don't really need a lot of the stuff for this. Go ahead and throw some energy in there. Defense, why not? Uh, that's not going to fit. Neither is that. Uh, <laughs> neither is that. Neither is that. Basically anything three long. Okay. Strength, we'll throw some strength in there. Okay. And I'm not too worried about building up dodge, because that's not really something. Considering they automatically dodge and uh, automatically can somehow miss. Despite my large amount of accuracy. <sighs> okay. Alright, yo, I'm coming! <sighs> <sighs> God damn! Alright, here we go. Look at the size of that guy! The Great Protector by land! Something tells me this great protector will be a little tougher than that protector by air. Hey, does anyone else see that person in the lab coat? Dr. Kurtz is actually scarier than the T-Rex. I heard that. Oh, yes. I have been listening in on your little conversations for some time now. Then you know we're going to stop. Stop what? Progress. I'm fixing nature's mistakes. Dinosaurs didn't survive. So I am giving them the skills they need. You can't just change nature. Who do you think you are? I am the strong, the powerful one. It is I who will survive and help others who couldn't do it themselves. Why let nature fail you? Take control. Doesn't look like those primos are in control. My next primos will be stronger. We will no longer let nature play with us like a child's toy. One day making us king, the next day throwing us away. That's what happened to the dinosaurs. That is what will happen to people, unless we weed out the weed. That's what I'm doing with the primos and, and the dinosaurs, and, and then... Ugh! Why bother explaining to fools? Then who? Everyone else? You'll get rid of anyone you think is weak? Nobody's better off if they're just following orders, and that's all your dinosaurs and primos can do. Enough talk! No one will stop me! Sorry, kiddies, but I'm too close to let you get in the way. Prepare to fight your last battle. All right. Let's see how well this goes. I love, I love the Rex fighting right now because it's got the the color scheme from uh, JP3's Rex. Okay, dude. Get your head out of there! Really? There we go. Oh! <laughs> yep, I'm done. Yeah, that 
was a bit rough. Well, we can pick that up in the next episode. Hey! Okay. Really quickly before I go, this right here reminds me of the Lamb of Four Time because the male Rex was always green and the female was always brown. Okay. Anyways, regardless of that, we will see it. We will pick this back up in the next episode. And next episode might be the last one. So we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!